Hey everybody, welcome to this week's tips and tricks video at 3dmotive.com. I am Prandik and I'll be your instructor for this video. Today we'll learn a new trick how to create handheld camera motion for POV shots or handheld film shots. Most of us have the idea of what a POV shot or a documentary shot normally looks like. Yeah, that's right. The camera keeps on moving with the character in a more chaotic manner rather than more still movement which happens with a tripod pan or a zoom. So what we have here is a weird looking creature just walking down the street, smile on his face and we want to put a camera in the shot here. Okay, so there are various ways uh, to create camera animation and make it look like you know someone is holding the camera in his hand and aiming at, aiming at the, the character. So let me show you how this is done. What I did was I created a camera here, the basic camera from create camera and basic camera here what we can do is we can animate this whole camera while he walks down the street or what we can do is there's a neat little trick which can be used to achieve this camera animation without even animating the actual camera here in Maya I don't know if anyone uses this trick in actual workflow but this is a nice little trick which may come in handy alright what I have here is uh, a video clip, a simple, a random video clip of my floor that I shot uh, with a simple camera in my hand and added a little bit of movement in it. So we want this camera information in front of the character in my app, and that's it. So how do we do that? Well, for that, there are tons of camera application app available which are mostly used for match moving in VFX films. We'll be using a similar application here which is known as Boujou. And for Boujou to read the camera data I converted the video images into image sequence. Here I have the whole video into frames. So all I need to do is import the video sequence into the application and let the application create the data out of it. So let's import the image sequence there. Let's go to desktop, tips and tricks, reference, image sequence, and camera one, import it. So what I need to do is I, I can bring it from 1 to uh, 495, or I can start it from you know any value you put here. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK. And that's it. We can see the whole image frame playing in the sequence right here. This application creates tracking points for the video, which are shown as locators in Maya. For this camera animation video, we won't be going in depth about this application. So let's take out the camera information out of this video. First, we need to do is to track the features of this camera here. So let's do that. Track feature. What we can do it for all the frames or we can do it for a selected range here. For example, you want to track the the video feature, of the camera feature from 201 to the end. So let's type that 200 and you can go to advanced mode. These are all the trackers that, that are here. And you can see this in Maya later on as as uh, locators after the camera is solved. I normally use this as large. Let's click start. All right, it's tracking the data right now, and I'll pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, our camera has been tracked. Now what we need to do is we need to create and connect the 3D camera inside of this application with these trackers. We need to solve the camera. So let's solve. Camera solve. We can select all range or we can select this your selected range. And since we track features from 200 to 495, so let's do that. 200, 295, 495. And we'll take all this because we need camera smoothness 
Mm, start that. I'll pause the video and be back when this is done. All right, we have solved our camera. Now we can export this 3D camera from here, from this application, to Maya. So let's do that. Export camera. And we can select camera solve. Export type to Maya camera. So we'll select Maya MA. 4 plus means above 4, above Maya 4. And we'll browse this and save it at, in here as camera solved. Save it. And we'll select start frame as 200. And save this. So we've got our camera saved. And now we can go ahead and start with the start Im importing this camera into Maya. So let's do that. All right. Now that we've got our camera information, let's import the camera into Maya and put it in front of the character. Before we do that, let me tell you that the smoother the control you have over your camera, the better quality information you're going to get into Maya. Which means when you're shooting the video and you're holding the camera in a much cautious way, the less uh, jitter you'll get while you bring the camera here in Maya. So let's import it, let's import the camera and see what we have. Import, camera sold, import here. All right, we've imported the camera right now. Let's go out of this camera or let's delete this camera since we don't need this camera one here. Press delete and you're here. So let's see where, where the camera is at. All right, let's go and check out our camera here. Camera solve. We have our values here, starting point and decimal. So let's change this to one and change your value from 236 to 170 as our as we had before. And let's see if uh, the camera is working. And just like I said for the the amount of control you have over your camera while recording depends on the amount of smoothness you get while you put this information in Maya. Let's select this camera, unlock this, and we can see the whole camera has been keyed. Now let's select that. Name it Cam Control. Let's go to Modify Freeze Transformation and Center Pivot. And also make sure to delete the history of this curve here. All you need to do is parent this with this control here. Parent. And now you can move this control and the camera along with it. So let's move it back to where here. Let's take a view from here. Let's select press five, go up and rotate the camera towards the character. Just like that. And create a resolution gate for this. All right, we can see that there are some problems going on with the character. Well, we can absolutely change that by just selecting the camera here and changing the near clip plane from 0.001 to 0.1, and everything gets cleared up. All right, let's play the video and see if it's if it's working. All right, we have a handheld camera animation right there. The shakiness of the camera actually depends on how you control the camera while recording. You have to keep in mind that whatever shot you're shooting, for example, there is uh, another shot where there's a fighting scene happening in front of me. So what you need to do is shoot the camera according to the fighting. 
you have to choreograph everything. But this is just to give you the idea of how this thing can be done. Alright then, that's about it for this week's Tips and Tricks videos. Thank you for watching FreedyMotive.com.